cancers. And the numbers indicate that if you've had a skin cancer, over the next uh, five years, you have a 50% chance of developing another one. And, and I have to say that in, in my practice, and, and I don't know about you, Dr. Rendon, it seems that if I have people have a skin cancer, they have a much higher chance of developing than, than what this estimate suggests. Um, also, if you have multiple moles or atypical moles, you have an increased ch chance of developing skin cancer, especially melanoma. So I just thought this was a cute picture. This is my uh, three-year-old daughter, Lexi. Uh, we, we had just uh, uh, put in a new, new pool. Uh, this wasn't that long ago, maybe three months ago. And uh, I got home from work. I decided I was going to go clean it, you know, try and do some of the chemicals. I asked her if she wanted to come out help. Of course, she says yes. And before I know, I turn around, I turn back, she's naked and jumped in. <laughs> so here she is. You know, the, the good news is it's nighttime, so she didn't need any sunscreen. So that's, uh, you know, that, that's the good thing. I can't suggest you guys all do, do this, but if you, if you are going to go out at night, that's that you, you're, you're protected. That's always, not always feasible. All right, now the, the first type of skin cancer, the basal cell carcinoma, and this is by far the most uh, common form of skin cancer. In fact, it's the most common form of all cancers. Um, the incidence of basal cell carcinoma by itself exceeds the incidence of all of these cancers, lung, breast, colon, rectum, prostate, bladder, and lymphoma combined. So it's, it's extremely common. Uh, it was estimated approximately 1.2 million people develop skin, uh, basal cell carcinoma.